What's up everybody, Rex Extreme Werewolf, and I am here go to play Smite, Battleground of the Gods. It's This is a game where you can play as either mages, guardians, assassins, hunters, and warriors. Let's get into it, shall we? First off, you can have as many heroes if you want, if you can buy the Ultimate God Pack, but... There are gods of many places, from Greek and Roman, to Norse and Celtic, Yoruburo, Chinese and Japanese, or even Hindu and Mayan. Each character has a certain power, and get this, you can play as any type of character. From warriors, you can play as Sun Wukong. Or Hercules, Horus, King Arthur himself, Mulan, Odin, oh, friggin' Odin, I mean, Odin, yeah, friggin' Odin, and from mages, you get the Kukulkan, Poseidon, Ra, Aphrodite, Anubis, Baba Yaga, uh, Kronos, Discordia, Freya, Hades, Hell, Hera, Merlin, well, Persephone, Rijing, Scylla, or Scylla, the Morgan, as in Lord Morgan Le Fay, Zeus, the. <laughs> The god, king of, Lamp of Olympus. Follow. Oh, dang. Damn it. Hold on. And from the mages, you get hunters like Apollo, Artemis, Kernunos, Medusa. Friggin' Medusa. Oh, but before that, I got. You have. I haven't played. This was my first time playing it, and I've gotten the tutorial done early. With Neath, and as a bonus, I had gone 5,000, whatever, 100 gold, but it was worth it to get a character I will show you later. You get to play as Honor the Lion, Chernabog, Cupid, Heimdall, no idea why there's an R there, but it's Heimdall, not Heimdall, whatever that is. I have no idea who these other two are, but let's go to the Guardian, where you get to play as Ares, Ymir, Ganesha, Ganesh, Athena, and the World Serpent himself, Jormungandr, along with Cerberus, and friggin' C Cthulhu! Let's see him. And he's part of the Great Old Ones, of course. Ooh, look how scary he is. And look, he has a big arm. Eh, eh, eh. The Great Dreamer, I have no idea why he's called that, but oh well. Let's get to the other one, such as Fafnir, the greedy dwarf who was cursed to be a dragon. And others, I have no idea who these guys are. Then to the Assassins, you get Bastet, the god of mischief Loki. You get to play as a rocket raccoon-based God by the name of Rata, of Rata Tos, that's a very hard name, tongue twister, and you get, to, but you get to play as Thor, God of Thunder, something like Baraka from Mortal Kombat, Kamazots the Bat God, Fenrir, the the Unbound, as in the God of Nor from Norse. Oh, I would love to get this guy. I mean, I could have gotten him, but then again, I chose to get this guy. And get this. This version of Jormungandr can speak. And look at his weird skins. Wait, hold on. <laughs> this is your Jormungandr. <laughs> You cat with a weird long body. And then there's this one. You kind of reminds me of Malifor, basically from Spyro, 
Dawn of the Dragon. Then, okay, back to the whole Garians. We also, no wait, we're at Assassin. We, there's also, see, Fenrir can also have the skin of the Wolf Man. Now that would be cool to get. You can even turn into a dragon. But we also have Mercury, the messenger of the gods. Nezha, born of the demon pill, yet with spirit intentions. Followed up with Set, the, you, the usurper. Thanatos. And for, oh yeah, that's actually all. Each one, you can, this is basically kind of like most of those games that are really d deep in. Like, the DC United online thing followed up with Fatal Bullet. Or even others that I haven't played. But I love to get these guys. Characters I would love to get are Cthulhu. Fenrir, who become the Guardian, the Giant Wolf 2. Then again, some of these characters I can play. I'm actually pretty good with Kernotnos. You even get Worshippers too. And as a Celtic, let's see his abilities. Shift, no wait, hold on, let's just see the ability, that's Ability Builder. Shifter of Seasons. If pressing X, I can have four types. I can call on the power of all the seasons. Spring Growth gives me bonus physical lifesteal. But he's like Tiberius from Paladin. So I can be able, while throwing those glaives, I can be able to heal with each damage. Summer Heat, like it says right there before you, bonus damage. Technically that's good. But with Autumn Decay, I can make sure that any I can debuff a, an enemy god of their god-like passive trait and be able to stop them. Ah, believe me, I love that, actually. As well as Summer and Spring Growth. But sadly, though, the Winter Chill only slows for one second. That's the bad part right there. Hey. It is good at least. Then Bramble Blast. I can like throw a line. Yeah, basically that's it. Just a Bramble Blast. Like a circular attack. Basically looks like the Celtic symbol. Horn Charge. Considering I look exactly like a beast. Like a pig or something. Whatever. Well, Goat Horns. That's exactly it. And then we get the wild hunt by pr I press A, press B, but this is why. Just like all c certain things like Overwatch or Battleborn or anyone else, anything else, the wild hunt is where I can turn I can turn enemy gods in the area that I after a one second delay, enemy gods in the area will be damaged and polymorphed into wild boars. They are silenced, disarmed, and slowed. Polymorph is not affected by diminishing returns. No idea what that means, but it's still good. So technically, despite liking the fact that I bought Jormungandr, I actually pretty much died in my first online match a lot. But I love Kernonos, and I will sh be showing you him another time. But I hope you like episode one of introductions to Smite Battleground of the Galaxy. Goodbye.